cooking. You know, no one technique, but the, the love and the care that they put into making the food, you know, um, and that's what I try to do with the food that we make here. Well, I'll tell you the, the biggest thing now, um, you might not know this, but I'm a chef instructor. Um, yeah, for a local culinary school. I've been doing that for about 10 years. Um, and then the number one thing I, I tell my students is when they first start cooking, um, they, they come in, they're very, you know, scared and they're very, you know, this and this and that. Um, they've, they've been, maybe they've been home cooks or they've seen their mom cook or grandma cook. Um, but I tell them first thing, key, sharp knife. And we all know, you know, a sharp knife, if you don't have a sharp knife, uh, you're in big trouble. And the other thing is uh, a lot of people try to adhere to these, you know, recipes and they look at a recipe, you know, for cooking a chicken like it's like it's gospel. Okay, it says eight minutes, I have to cook it for exactly eight minutes and they don't understand the variable. So what I try to teach everybody is just cook with your heart, cook with some feeling. You, once you learn a few of the basic techniques, whether it's searing or sauteing or baking, braising, roasting, broiling, whatever it is, make sure you do it right and the food will just kind of, it just falls into alignment. You know, and if I could cook like our grandma used to. It, you know, and, and I tell you, I've never understood, you know, I, I used to watch my grandmother cook for me um, years ago and my, my mom, my dad, whoever it was cooking. And I never really got it until, um, until I met my wife. And the first time that I actually got to cook something for her, it was a different level of cooking than I ever had cooked in restaurants in my life. And I tell you what, um, that was when I was out of the, the so-called restaurant business for a little bit, and then I jumped back into it, and now I try to translate some of that feeling, which is, it's hard to do, and you can't have it every day, but I try to translate that feeling into the food that we serve, and then people, I, I feel, recognize that there was definitely some care and some thought behind the food that goes out. You know, and if I could translate that feeling to every home cook, whatever they're doing, you know, I'll tell, I'll tell students, I'll say, um, guys, you know, pick somebody you love. Pick your, you know, your mom. I said, y'all cook for your family, and who raise your hands, and, and they say yes, yes, yes. I said, when you cook for them, you cook with love, and I said that's where it comes out. So if it's not here, it doesn't come out here. And if that's the advice I give to a home cook. I know it's not like, oh, you know, get the pan hot and sear it and everything like that. But if you could do that, and people love you, no matter what. Yeah.